Okay, Pisces, my Pisces friends. I am quite frustrated because I did Taurus, <coughs> excuse me, Taurus's video before I actually did yours. <coughs> excuse me. And <clears throat> for some reason, my camera is acting crazy. So instead of doing Taurus again, I said, well, let me go to Pisces, who I usually do at the end, and do your video. Well, for some reason, it did the same freaking thing again. So, <clears throat> instead of um, completely doing your video and Taurus's video over again, um, I'm actually, the cards are already out, and I record <clears throat> the audio as a backup um anyway just because sometimes my videos they will record but the audio will not be present so what i'm going to do now and i know some of you are not going to like this but instead of me just not doing your video at all i decided to go ahead and do it this way so um i hope you guys are content with this right here but i do feel like you guys are going to be like the first ones that i do for the weekly um, that I'm doing after the monthlies here so uh, bear with me and um, I will get you guys first for the next videos because you know this stuff takes a lot of energy especially to do 12 videos which I'm trying to get those out today okay guys so enjoy This is your reading for November. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see, what is the energy around my Pisces? Nine of Swords. Feeling worried. But I feel like, you know, what you're worrying about is, it's like unnecessary. Um, almost like overreacting being overly like sensitive to a situation and I feel like this definitely is involving like hearing from someone wanting so badly to hear from someone and feeling like you know you're never going to get that closure or get that um that reconciliation that you guys may be looking for wanting someone to reach out to you and feeling like it's never gonna happen <clears throat> Gemini energy is here um Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy as well. What's crossing my Pisces? What's crossing my Pisces? Okay, here we go with this kind of wands in reverse. Um, I did Taurus a minute ago, but for some reason that video just, I don't know what the hell happened. But anyway, they had some reversals as well. You guys know I don't do reversals, really. I don't like intentionally reverse my cards but the two of wands came in reverse so we're at the nine of wands actually um just feeling very tired um struggling to be able to move forward wanting to so what's challenging you guys is to pick it up and keep moving okay this is what's going on currently with you because i'm getting this feeling of um feeling stuck i think that you know, we have two nines basically here, and nines are like self-direction. You know, being able to think about yourself, do things for yourself, being kind of selfish um, in, in regards to other people and doing what's best for you. So at this point, I feel like the struggle is real for you guys to do what's best for you and not be dependent upon, you know, somebody else's actions actions to determine what you do next or where you go from here okay Sagittarius energy there <clears throat> let's see I'm drawing an issue here for Pisces the world hmm you guys definitely want to start over I feel like um, for some of you though you you feel like you're spinning your wheels here you want to move forward with someone. This energy right here is Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy with the world. The world is also governed by Saturn. 
which is a planet of um, basically karma, okay? And I feel like the issue here is that karma is lessened, basically, you guys. And I feel like your lesson in this life is to not allow other people to make decisions for you. And, and what I mean by that is like not waiting on other people to give you what you need. Take what you need, my guys, okay? Take what you need. And if somebody is not doing what you feel like, they should be doing or giving you what you feel like you need it's up to you to say no more so I, I'm getting that that is what um, is going on here is for you guys to learn to say you know what I'm done with this uh, obviously this is not for me and moving on okay <clears throat> I'm gonna raise a pass for Pisces we have the hermit here I do feel like you guys have decided that um, this person from your past is the one. Um, you feel like this is your husband or this is your your wife. This is your partner. This is your destiny. I feel that from you. Like um, something has happened where you guys feel like this is your soulmate. This is the person that you're supposed to be with. This is Virgo energy. This is the person that you want to nest with. Um, and you're feeling like, you know, you're never going to hear from them again or this is not going to happen. Now, the thing about the Nine of Swords is that I don't feel like you're never going to hear from this person again. I don't feel like that. I feel like you definitely will hear from this person, but I feel like you're going to have to put your foot down. You're going to have to change your energy in order for the energy to shift and this person reach out to you. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Grounding thoughts for Pisces. The Ace of Swords. You want to know the truth. You want to know what the fuck is up. I get that. I understand that. But this comes from within. Okay? Not not waiting for someone else to um, basically confirm something for you. Okay? This is realizing things on your own. Ace of Swords. So I do get that you guys want to be able to move forward. Um, and if this person comes back, they come back. You know, but not like closing yourselves off to new opportunities here. What's coming in for Pisces? Okay, Six of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups, feeling regret. Um, kind of feeling hopeless, helpless when it comes to your soulmate. Okay, I feel that... Um, you're feeling like this has been a missed opportunity in the near future. Like, this is not going to happen. You guys are very in your head and emotional, I feel. Um, yeah, Scorpio energy here. You go back and forth. You go back and forth. I feel like you're, you're fighting your way out of this Nine of Swords energy, though. This is coming to an end. This is coming to an end because you, you. I think you're getting to a point where you're realizing this is not a good place for you to be. This is not a good head space for you to be in, you know. So I think that you're going to realize that in order for you to be happy and balanced, you're going to have to change the way that you're thinking. Change the way that you're doing things and not rely on other people emotionally. Okay. <clears throat> How is Pisces viewing this situation? The Emperor. You guys almost feel helpless. You feel helpless. That makes me kind of sad here because you're not helpless. You want to be the person that, like, really 
you know, stands in your power and is able to not reach out and, and not try to make things better, not be the one to like, you know, always bridge the gap let somebody reach out to you. You want to be that person, but for some reason, a lot of you guys feel like really depleted, really helpless um, in this situation here. This is Aries energy. Hmm. What is the influence here for Pisces? Influence for Pisces. Of course, you have a broken heart. Of course. I, I mean, I see that. I get that. You're disappointed. You want to have a conversation about your situation with this person. This person could have possibly cheated on you, but it doesn't have to be the fact that they, they cheated. It's just that things are not working out the way that you want them to because you see this person as your soulmate. But you guys haven't come together to work things out, to have a conversation, to discuss what you need to do from here on. And that's what you want to do. You want to hear something from this person. Hopes or fears. That's Aquarius energy. Oh, oh. Okay, that one wanted something flipped over there. Okay, this one flipped over. And this one wanted to. So... This is Leo and Libra energy. The five of wands is you don't want to argue. You want to get on the same accord. You just want to be happy with this person. You want to be successful with this person. You don't want any more conflict here. Then we have justice in reverse, though. So with justice, you're doing what what is necessary, what is right for all parties involved. You want things to be fair. You don't want things. You, you're, you're fearful that things are going to revert back to the way that they were. Um, and I think that's what keeps you from reaching out um, because you feel like if you reach out, it gives this person control. And when they feel like they're in control, then they do shitty things. You know? So... You don't want this situation to be like it was because it was unfair. So you're still afraid that things are going to be like unbalanced here with you and this person. What is the overall outcome for Pisces? Overall outcome for Pisces. Oh, wow. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Going back to the nine, you working on yourself, you being single, gaining your confidence. Because right now, a relationship I feel with this person is not, is not what's in your best interest, is what I'm getting here. I know a lot of you are not going to want to hear this, but right now, I feel like in the month of November, this is for you to work on yourself because here we have another nine. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, we're going back to being single. Nine of Pentacles, that's not a bad nine. It's you getting your shit together, you know? You, you getting your confidence, feeling worthy of being in a relationship, being in a committed relationship, being with someone that actually, you know, will fight for you. So I, I see you guys remaining single and, you know, things not working out in the month of November in this relationship with this person, because I feel like Pisces friends, this month you have to take this time to work on yourself. You have three nines here. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. This is Virgo energy and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.